Ready, set, go. Morning, Dale. I don't have any upgrades. I already used one. Morning, Dale. Morning. Chicha, 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 chicha. Did you want to get breakfast? Move your tongue. Move it back. Yeah, I can see your tooth coming through too. Oh my gosh, you're gonna lose it! How exciting! Are you ready? It's Sunday morning, we're going to get the kids. It's really quiet in the van. Say hi. Hi. It's gonna get louder though. Say hi, everybody. Hi! Wow, that was good. All right, so we have to go get a dresser from from Maddie's Nana's house because um, I promised her like six and a half months ago that I'd get it, right? Yep. But I still don't want to go get it, but I guess I'll do it. So yesterday when I promised you amazing vlogging, this is this is what I meant for today's episode. But maybe I'll drop the dresser on my leg or something. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Cool. Maybe I'll I'll assist in it. I'll be helping you move it. Yeah. But you can't because you're pregnant. I am not. Oh. She's not pregnant. Following my ex-wife to her mother's house so we can pick this dresser up. Super excited. Is that yours? It's the boys. It's okay. This basement smells like mothballs. It's creepy. Well, at least her apartment doesn't. It's probably a serial killer down here. Are you ready to carry the dresser? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. Just vlog her and I'll vlog mine. I didn't vlog you. <laughs> what? I can't. We have to record this memory. Hi, so you're going to carry this with one hand? Yeah, you're going to carry it with two. Why don't I carry it with one hand? All right. You're doing a great job. Why don't you carry it with two hands? I think you got this. No, I don't think so. You can turn that off now. Oh, that's fine. You're doing really good work. Keep it up. Put a little effort into it. Yeah, I don't know. You got I don't it. I wanted to smash her window. Yay! She wants this? Yeah. Yay! Very exciting day because all these loud kids leave. <laughs> yes, for a few months. <laughs> all out the, the whole bird's time. No. All right, check it out. Here's what we're doing. The first ever Bergie Blender egg toss, all right? Teams, first round. We're gonna do two rounds. Who are gonna be the teams for the first round? Me and Dylan and Maddie and... Okay, and then we'll flip flop the second round. All right. Then won't, won't we need more eggs to crack on each other? I have two eggs per thing. Maddie, wait, me and you. We're not cracking them, them on each other. All right, uh, Landon, grab an egg. Me, grab an egg. Grab an egg. Uh, Maddie, grab an egg. Okay, good. Greatest. The greatest. Here's how it works. As Maddie, step back up. If you are the person that catches the egg, you take one step back. Okay? Then you throw. Then that person catches it. They take one step back. If your egg hits the ground or breaks, you're out. Your team loses. Okay? Can me and Cameron just switch places or something? Sure. Because I don't want to back up this way. Okay, sure. All right, ready? What are you? 
get closer. So you guys are even. Begin. Take one step back. One step back, Dylan. Back up one step. Back up. Back up. <coughs> Cameron, back up. Still in. Still okay. Got it. Like you say when it touches the It's ground. fine. No when it breaks. None of your fans. You gotta back up. Make it to me, Dill. Oh, <laughs> 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 So Landon and Dylan won round one. Now we are going to have an egg toss championship. I have them in a circle. As an egg breaks and they drop. That just cut off mid-sentence. YouTube just ate eight minutes of my vlog. Because of lack of memory on my phone, um, I had to delete all the videos. So I delete all the videos once I complete the day's vlog and all the editing and stuff, I delete my videos. So I've just been editing for like the last two hours and now all of that is gone. So, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and try to hold me down. You're doing a good job. Here's the life lesson for today. Perseverance. The vlog will continue. So partners, let me just fill you in on what we've been doing today. I think we were at about the 6.03 point of the video and Landon got cut off mid-sentence. So here's, what's ha here's what happened next after that. Uh, there was some eggs that were thrown. There was fantastic throws, great tosses all over the yard. Uh, one went flying past Cameron. The egg hit the garage, it cracked. We eliminated Cameron Dylan. Dylan had a temper tantrum, cried in the yard. Then... We got down to Maddie and Landon. They went back and forth. It was like three tosses. Landon dropped it. Maddie won the egg toss competition. She then held up the egg. The egg said some stuff on it that I'm not going to repeat right now. I'm not going to tell you what the egg said. If you didn't see it earlier, too bad. You didn't see it. So then Landon had what we called his yoke of the day. It was the most fabulous Landon Bergie joke of the day we've done. I mean, it was incredible. It had everything. Maddie came up behind him, crushed the egg on his head. But because I don't reenact things, I'm not going to reenact it. But I will go to Landon, and he will give you the yolk of the day again. And I'll let Cameron give his line, because his line was incredible, too. His punchline was just super. It all just flowed so nicely. Oh, you're, it, you would have loved it. Okay, so Landon had his hood up. Nice. Maddie, you were behind Landon, right? You yeah. uh, you took the egg. Ah, fake egg, look at the fake egg. All right, you cracked it on his head. Smash, oh, oh yeah! All of us in the house yelled, it's time for the Landon Bergie! Yolk of the day! We did that, it was funny. And then Landon told the yolk of the day. Um, oh, which he now doesn't remember. I remember, um, how did the eggs leave the highway? How, Landon? They exit it. <laughs> and then Lenny, you crack me up! <laughs> and that was the yoke of the day, except it was a lot messier the That's first time hilarious. I filmed it. Yep. And then, uh, after, after the egg toss, uh, after Landon's yoke of the day, then I called Papa to thank him for this pink elephant that he dropped off. So, uh... Papa doesn't know, obviously, or my dad, the kids call him Papa. He doesn't know that uh, we that I have lost half of my footage. So uh, we'll call him back and uh, we'll thank him again. Hey, I was just calling to thank you for my pink elephant. You already did that. What? You already did that. Oh, yeah, I'm aware I already did it, but then you know what happened? No. Uh, YouTube deleted nine minutes of my vlog, so I had to start oh. over. And uh, I'm a little stressed out now. Um, I'm sure you did that. So what I'm doing is I'm reenacting my entire day in the next 30 minutes. No. So just, let's start over, okay? Let's pretend like I'm calling you again. You ready? 
Sure. All right. Hey. Hey, what's happening? What do you want? Oh, I was just calling to thank you for the pink elephant. You got pink elephant? You've been drinking too much? <laughs> it's not pink. It's pink. No, it's not. <laughs> It's what? orange. Why did you give me a pink elephant? Orange. Because you used to have an elephant down and south of the border, but somebody moved the elephant. I heard a truck hit it, and it shattered. <laughs> so then you was a little upset and couldn't sleep at night, and so I got you the elephant, which I saw a lot of elephants between 20 and 25 dollars, but I got you the elephant for a dollar because it was more in my price range. That is really nice of you. That's enough, because that's all I put in. I didn't put the rest of our conversation in it anyway. I edited it out. Oh, okay. So that's plenty. It was it was great talking to you. Whatever. I shall do my best. All right, goodbye. All right, bye. And then I had this great discussion about uh, about how to keep yourself happy and <clears throat> excuse me, how to get to a point of uh, happiness in your life. Uh, it was so good that I don't even think I can repeat it today. I'm not, I'm mentally no longer in the state to repeat a story about how to get to happiness. So, uh, today's, today we'll talk about, uh, perseverance and pushing through. I was banging my face on the couch over there about 35 minutes ago. Um, I punched the refrigerator, maybe. I threw my hat and, uh, I acted like a small child because nine minutes of my vlog had been deleted, or eight minutes, or whatever it was, it had been deleted. I I consider this my work. This is, I'm putting everything mentally into this. This is, uh, this is my passion. This is what, since I was a little kid, I wanted to do with my life. And today I experienced, after 34 years, my first hiccup, my first major meltdown of how everything isn't always perfect and doesn't always go your way. And it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Um, today I experienced that. Which was the reverse of happiness, which is why I can't tell you the happiness story. But I don't even know what this looks like because I don't want <laughs> to waste any more time editing it. But I think it'll be at least kind of fun, maybe. With that, the motivational thought of the day. The end.